Welcome back everybody, I'm Benny Obscene, and on this episode, we're gonna be ruining my 240SX just a little bit more with a Venti Boy hood scoop. I ordered this probably a while back uh, from one of the more budget alternatives for fiberglass parts, and let's just say it took a little while to come in. It's here now though, and also due to that budget source, it's not exactly perfect. Um, so I think the first step here is gonna be to just do a little bit of trimming around the edges as the, you know, it's not perfectly straight. So I think um, if I do, what I've got here is uh, I've taped out some of the sides um, just to get like a nice straight line so that it sort of looks okay and is kind of the same dimensions everywhere. Again, it's, it's definitely not gonna be perfect, but I think a little bit of trimming um, in this case is gonna go a long way. If you're gonna learn one thing from this video, it's when you're cutting or doing anything with fiberglass, put the respirator on and don't get mesothelioma. Uh, so yeah, do your safety glasses, do your respirator, and then chop into the fiberglass. Right, and now that this is trimmed up nicely, I ran um, the sanding block along the edges just to make sure that it's nice and straight and even. So I'm just gonna give this a little wipe down here with some denatured alcohol, and that'll just get all the dust off of this and get this center section ready for a little bit of black paint. So it's now a couple days later, and I have the hood off the car just to play it safe when we do end up cutting. It's just easier this way and it protects the engine, makes everything easier. Hood's off the car and I have the scoop laid on top. What I've done is I went ahead, did some measurements, left, right, top, bottom, just to make sure it's as centered as possible. And once I got it nice and centered, I went around the perimeter and laid down some painter's tape lines of basically the outside edge of where this thing's gonna be. Then once I have the outside edge, uh, where I want it and, and in place and lined up. I moved the scoop out of the way and I went ahead and put a matching strip of tape just on the inside of that outer edge. So basically, if I cut along this inside edge here, what I get is a nice little um, half three quarter inch gap in between where I want that outer edge. And that's where this piece is gonna line up so that it's got enough to sink in, but also enough to grab on with the rivet later. And nothing left to do now, except cut open my perfectly good S13 hood. Holy smokes, there's a giant hole in the hood. That went okay, not so bad. Um, up next, clean up some of these edges just for fun. Spray a little bit to try and prevent any more rust, but overall, not super worried about it. Get this cleaned up, then I think we're ready to put the Venti Boy on. So I now have this pretty much in place. I've done some measurements, centered it as best as I can. The fiberglass again is not perfect. So I'm gonna have to kind of set a couple rivets and then push things into place to get it to fit just right. I think it's uh, just flexible enough that it's still gonna work. I have marked out some of the holes in the front. So I think I'll go ahead and get some rivets set there and then continue to work my way outside. Now 
It's on. Um, that wasn't too bad. It, I hurt myself once. That's par for the course. Um, went ahead, got the rivets in. The rivets fought just a little bit, but it's in. We're good. Everything's happy. Now, just need to clean this up and get ready for vinyl wrap. Well, home stretch here. The panel, the hood, cleaned up. Hit it with some spray clean as well as some denatured alcohol to get all the grease off. Um, everything's cleaned out, got all the dust out, the fiberglass dust out. And I'm not really sure how this is gonna lay down, but I do have a sheet of vinyl that's big enough to cover the hood here. So might as well give it a shot to do the whole thing instead of just the vent. Um, so yeah, we'll give it a shot. Hopefully it comes out okay. Okay, well, as you can see, that kind of sucked and did not go totally according to plan. I think I messed up. Um, obviously, all over, we got wrinkles, but um, again, I don't have um, maybe as much time as I'd like to dive into this vinyl wrap, but it's on and it's good, it's okay. I think um, the mistake that I might have made was focusing too much on getting the center vent area smooth and that led to some bunching up along the sides here. I think if I would have pulled it straight and focused on the outside first and then worked my way in where I can cheat a little bit here in the vent, I think that might have gone a little bit better. Also, for some reason, maybe just the age of this vinyl, it actually broke in a bunch of places as I was pulling it tight, so that certainly didn't help. But it's on, it's trimmed, it's ready, it needs to go back onto the car. And now the moment of truth. Let's see what fits, what hits. All right. Ugh. The good news is the hood's a lot lighter now. So it looks like Looks like we clear, actually. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see, but it's not as important. I, I'm kind of more concerned about me seeing. So, um, this is actually so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. That clears, that clears, that clears, that clears. Everybody clears. And I don't actually have to trim anything. That is so much easier than I thought. And I think that's about it. I've got the, uh, I've got the hood aligned, sort of good. It's back on the car, everything bolts up. We've got clearance for the underside of the vent on the engine itself. And the vent is really in the perfect spot here. Looks great. I can see in and verify that we've got clearance on everything that we need. Um, and that's actually, I think it's added a little bit of clearance in certain places, uh, which is really nice. It's a shame that the vinyl um, didn't really turn out that great. Obviously right here is a big eyesore and just kind of all over, but I mean, I guess that's, that's just gonna be what it is. I'm not super concerned about the vinyl on this car, but it's on and it's venting and we're good. And it looks more like a race car. So thank you so much for watching. This wasn't too bad, probably took just a couple hours worth of work. And I think it definitely transforms and makes the car look way better and hopefully function a lot better as well as we get those hot, hot LS temps under the hood. Thank you so much for watching. If you're into this, we'll do some more. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.